All right, the world of golf has a new crop of winning young players. You might have seen it this year, like Keegan Bradley and, and Matt Kutcher. But our next guest thinks it would be more fun to return to what she calls the Rat Pack time of golf. It was more fun. <laughs> like our parents' era, yes. right? Well, joining us now to explain is Alyssa Gaday. She's the author of the new book, Two Good Rounds. This is a great Christmas gift. Great to meet you. Very nice to meet you guys. So there's so many wonderful pictures in here, and then you talk about little unknown facts about the players. For example, let's take a look at a picture of Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer. What are they doing here? Um, this is a very interesting story that Jack had said that in ex precisely that era, you know, during the time in, in Palm Springs, they used to get together with their wives and, and go to, after the tournament, and Sinatra and some of these guys would come together, and um, then these jam sessions, and he bumped in, they bumped into a woman on the way to the bathroom, and her wig knocked off, so one of them picked it up, put it on their heads, they were exchanging it, went out to the dance floor and just started dancing together. I mean, it just gives you an idea of really... You know, I think it was a lot more um, camaraderie. And 19th hole is usually when you party, when you hang out, you look back at the round you had, good or bad, you're all hanging out together. Those days are gone currently, and it's sad to you. Well, I just think that we need to, it would help golf, you know, because of the recession, because of what's been going on, I think that it would help for everybody just to get back to socialization. The clubhouse has always been a wonderful place for people to connect and communicate. And as much as we're connected on Facebook and Twitter and everything else, I think we still need that human interaction. And this is something we can all relate to. Everybody who's played around afterwards yeah. has celebrated with friends and pros do the same thing. Now, Ernie Els, you say, was your best overall interview. Why? He's just such a really genuine guy. We had, uh, you know, he said, let's sit down and have lunch. And it was very, um, you know, he's just a really great guy. And he has great stories. And I think he has given so much back to the game as well. He's got a great wine, too. I think he got a 96 in Wine Spectator. I believe so. he's holding it up. And he's a smart guy to get in that shot. Yeah, you can have a picture of me if I can plug my wine. Uh, but what about this? What about some of the golf courses? Uh, for example, the Port Royal in uh, Bermuda. That is it's just a stunning, I mean, I'm, I love the warmth, so it's a stunning golf course. Their 19th hole, you overlook wow. um, the ocean. I mean, it's just one of those special places we feel very fortunate to be there. Uh -huh. So now your best female interview is a woman who's been on our show a lot. It was Annika Sorenstam. Yes, and she's also like a very, really giving person. And she is also, you know, her brand has evolved immensely. And she was very sincere, too. She said, you know, when I first started drinking wine, it was a red or white. <laughs> and yeah. I think we all somewhat started at that point. And she really has um, taken an interest in learning about winemaking and pairing right. with foods and things like that. So she, it has evolved greatly for her as well. A more well-rounded player and superstar. Now you look at some of the other people that used to hang out and have a few. For example, Nancy Lopez's favorite drink would be milk. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? On the it? 19th hole, so she the 19th hole drink for, for Nancy is milk? That's right? how she ended up in she, the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and she regretted that she did not put, she said, you know, I wish I would have put it in a trophy. Because, you know, a lot of people put champagne or something in the trophy, and she never put milk in the trophy. What about Chi-Chi Rodriguez? Chi-Chi's, you know, Chi Johnny Walker, right? Yeah, Johnny Walker and a rum and coke, you know, from Puerto Rico, so uh -huh. very fitting. Why, why did you want to write this book? Once again, you know, I've been in the golf industry for 12 years. I've been on the business side mostly, and I've um, been writing a column about tour players who are interested off the course and celebrities at golf. And I just thought it was a, a nice connecting point that amateurs and pros could share. And it's, it's a tough sport. They don't travel as a team. You don't hear much about yeah. what golfers do. And a lot of them have wine brands that are great and and. Fuzzy Zeller's got a vodka. And a big shocker, Darren Clark of Northern Ireland likes Guinness. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Those are some of the big discoveries in two good rounds. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, Thank you, guys. Coming up on the show, Donald Trump firing himself now as moderator of the upcoming Republican debate. The Donald.